the farm has hit the city and it's become the most popular theme this summer. Everything from weddings to backyard soirees, even birthdays, taking on a bit of a country feel. Well, our friend from Classic Party Rentals, the lifestyle expert, Gus Galanis, is here. It's nice to see you, Gus. Hi, Gus. So nice to be here. Uh, you've done an incredibly beautiful job Thank here. And I was you. just saying, this is so nice, it almost doesn't even matter what you're serving, right? That's true. <laughs> And you can do this all alone, on your own, without my help. Okay? It's true, because I know when you look at the table as a whole, you think, I can never tackle that. But when you start to get down on table level, you can see that, you know what, maybe you could pull this thing off. First, though, before we get to your tips, we want to show everybody some of the things you've done, uh, the farm-to-table theme. We have some pictures of some of these events that you've done. Beautiful. Because why is this stuff so popular right now? Well, the farm-to-table theme has really been active for about seven to eight years, mm -hmm. and it's really come into its own in the last four years. But really, it, it, it's, it, it mimics food and how we eat and the whole uh, navigation to organic eating yeah. and the whole farm-to-table uh, way of living. And that's really why it's so popular today. There's also a sense that people want a simpler, entertaining yeah. sensibility. Right, it's not stuffy. Right. Exactly. Okay, so we're going to look at how we re can recreate first what you notice when you look at this table. There is a certain color palette. There is. And what you want to do is, is work with wood that are going to set and give you that sort of base tone. And then what I did was I pulled together the yellows and the greens to give you that pop of color. You want a certain cohesive statement in, in the whole. So piece. so mishmash is out because I think what we do is like, oh, here's the here's the good well, stuff for company and here's everything else that we have and you throw it all together. You know what? You could do a little bit of mishmash. In, in terms of the whole rustic chic thing, there are several levels and you can go to the extreme, which I, I call vintage granny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then you can do more modern sensibility and give it your own twist. Well, that's what you're saying. You can use some of the things you have, like these Absolutely. beautiful little lace tablecloths that you probably have. This is a friend's away. grandmother's. Yeah. And exactly. We're using it here just as an accent. Yeah. Um, I know it, 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 the rare entertaining I had a chance to do, I think lighting is one of the most important elements. And if you don't, today is kind of a soft day, right? Right. Moment. Right. And one of the things that you want to do when you're actually looking to do some entertaining at home and you want to go with this theme is really establish where you're going to do it. Pick the right spot. If it's going to be outdoors, you want some place that's shady, um, it's something that's appropriate for the time of day. And then work all of your elements based on those surroundings. Uh, I noticed with the glassware and, and the silverware simple, but the glasses are different. I mean, this is a little mini mason jar. Absolutely. We've mixed a couple of different glasses here. And this is, again, something that you can do. If you can raid your cupboard, raid your friend's cupboard, borrow, beg, but don't steal. <laughs> All right. Our stomachs are growling. With, with this, it looks so great. What kind of meal would you serve? On well, this? again, you know, we're thinking here this could be a brunch setting. Mm -hmm. You want to do uh, room temperature salads, beautiful tomatoes, things that are seasonal and and again organic think organic pick textures that are going to actually pop on the table and give you that other level of finesse does it matter more what it looks like than what it tastes like He's going to say yes. He's about sometimes, to say yes. Sometimes, Gus. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. Exactly. Sometimes. Exactly. And all the beautiful little touches you made, you made on the napkins. Right. And these are all simple uh, things that we did here. We just Goes a long went way. to a craft store, got some uh, raffia ribbon and some lace ribbon, used a hot glue gun, made these up. The same thing. We carried the accent over to the candle pieces here and, again, to this here. This is interesting. The, you know what? This is, I love. You You take vegetables and you use exactly. the centerpiece. This is a cauliflower. Beautiful. It's a hybrid. Yeah, it's actually wonderful. You've seen that, That's Sam? Right. I've never seen that before. And, and my guess, Gus, once once you do it once, somebody would look at this and go, it's so ornate, it's so beautiful, this is going to take me forever. But once you get it under your belt, it is Absolutely. Take you get it all done. It, it's very quick. And you can preset a lot of this the day before. Yeah. And have fun with it, right? It is and a party absolutely. after all. Have a, have a good time. These farm-to-table DIY tips, you can go to KTLA.com. We have it on our website. Classic Party Rental Services, all of Southern California. For more information, you can go to ClassicPartyRentals.com. Thank Absolutely. you, Gus. Thank you so much for having Gus, me. Gus, nice to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, from uh, staying still mm -hmm. to moving quickly.